Hi, this is Gadi Elkan with Selig Film News. We're here with the team behind Seven Chinese Brothers, Sean Flanagan and Jake Kaikendale. Dahl. Dahl. Yeah. Kaikendal. It's good. I just, I'm Kai glad I didn't emphasize yeah. the other part yeah, of it. It's sure. the Dell doll that Dahl. confused me yeah. this time. Yeah. <laughs> so great way to start the interview. <laughs> uh, this movie's funny, so that's a good start with it. Uh -huh. But um, Bob's an interesting fella. Sure. What's it like working with Bob? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. We had a really good crew. I think that <laughs> we have a super tight knit crew mm -hmm. that's like a family friendly, friendly family. Uh -huh. Sure. Um, Jake and I go way back. Way back. Years. Couple yeah, of yeah. years. Way back. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, and, you know, it, it. any film set I think presents a, its own set of problems and, and, we certainly had them, but we also had a lot of good moments too. And, and now we're all able to look back and kind of forget all of those difficulties. But Bob's an individual and he knows what he wants and uh, sometimes it's hard to understand what he's asking for, but you end up arriving at, at something that we can all agree on. And, uh, well, I'm curious, because you, you, we, we also have uh, David's film here. Mm -hmm. um, working with, you know, Texas filmmakers, there, there is a certain vibe to them. I mean, I know Bob and David are not the same at all, but what's it like working in this environment, Austin, Texas as a whole, and, and the wonderful talent here? You guys are a part of the team. I don't have a lot to compare it to, but it's phenomenal, and I haven't found a real good reason to leave yet because um, <clears throat> there's a group that we kind of keep working with over and over. I think the same is true for both Jake and myself, and it's a good, it's a really good, helpful group of individuals in Austin. And I think you can find that other places, but I haven't been interested in Is it comforting to know that this is basically the third coast? I mean, you guys don't have to go to LA or New York. Yeah. You can make great films, make a living, and survive in a beautiful, fun place. Definitely. There's some security there. And, and once you're kind of in with some of the more notable filmmakers in town, then you know that they're going to continue making films in Austin. And um, so it's nice to keep keep steady work every year and kind of have a reunion with friends and, and that sort of thing. What's the uh, Schwartzman experience like? I know he's he can be fun. What? How is he on this set compared to, you know, other stuff? Like When you were on Rushmore, what was yeah. that? Well, on Rushmore, <laughs> yeah, that was his first job. He was a young kid and, you know, he didn't really know what he was doing. Bill Murray was kind of like bossing him around and stuff. And as a 14-year-old, I was like pretty intimidated. Uh, but you know what? He has that same angelic charm then as he does now. But I, I was a big fan of Rushmore and his work since then, and he didn't let me down at all. He was incredibly kind and friendly and really great sense of humor and easy to get along with. So As, as nice as you think he would be, yeah. he is, really. Jason. Jason, yeah. not, not Bill. Bill Murray. Oh, okay. Or Jake. Or Jake. Yeah. Or Jake. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, the first time I worked with him, uh, I would work with him again. Yeah, sure. he, he came down to Austin a couple of weeks in advance of the shoot just to kind of get the lay of the land, and, and he really likes Austin. That was a part of the reason I think he took the job. And he came down with his wife and daughter, two-year-old, and baby on the way. They had a, they had their second child ten days after we wrapped, which was crazy. Wow. But she, the wife had gone back home. His wife, Brady, and yeah, Brady. Um, it was they're they're a really sweet, wonderful family. So is it nice fun to happen. have, like, Pacino also come down to, you know, it's wild how big these films are starting to become from, from you guys. What, what's that experience been like? It's not, it's not really a big deal for us because we're so... I mean... <laughs> we Pacino, just, yeah, like, whatever. whatever. I think Austin's just such an appealing place to, to come work and visit, and I think that's a big perk for a lot of L.A. or New York actors. It's, yeah, I'm going to spend a couple months in, like, a, a fun town and get some music and get involved with a different margaritas. community. Margaritas, Tex-Mex. Barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. it's all about the barbecue. Yeah. About the barbecue. I think yeah. it's a, Austin's a huge them. draw, and Texas is, uh, Dallas as well is a huge draw, but uh, <laughs> we love you. Dallas, we love Dallas as well. <laughs> so you don't have to throw us under the bus, it's okay. What's it like being able to, to show it here in Texas still? I mean, we're the North Texas community might not have the direct connection to Austin, but we do we, we're, the bridge of the gap is starting to see, you know, everyone kind of coming together in mm -hmm. this north central Texas mm -hmm. area. It's, 
is becoming kind of a, a film hub. Yeah. Um, what's it like showing it here at Film Festival, the Dallas International Film Festival? I'm happy to be back. We were here with somebody at their likes meeting three years ago, and um, it's a really inviting, warm festival, and we're treated very well, and that's that's exciting and nice. Uh, I remember specifically with somebody that the reception we had in the theater versus our South by Southwest experience was, it just felt like everyone was here to really have a good time, and, and there wasn't quite the same, um, I don't know, intense. Careful. Careful. Be careful. With your words. <laughs> just a more critical focus in Austin mm -hmm. that I that I felt like people were here to have a good time and and so I'm excited to come back for that. I, we had a really good experience at South by Southwest this year too, so I don't know if it's it's great, great to be in anymore. Texas. It's great to be in Texas. I love Texas. Cowboys. Cowboys. Is that okay to say? I'm a lifelong yeah, I, Cowboys fan, I'm, so. Who's your favorite cowboy of all well, time? Well, I'm in. I'm really a, in Life theory long, sports. Said, yeah. Emmett Smith. Emmett's a great choice. There's nothing wrong with Emmett. We've talked to Emmett. Emmett's lovely. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a good dancer. Oh yeah, he was on Dancing with the Stars. He won. Okay. He's a winner. Huh. Yeah. Super Bowl winners and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But back to film. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I'm curious with those reactions here in Dallas. Can you talk a bit more about that? Like, what's it like having South by so big, so massive. Mm -hmm. People go into it with a, crazy expectations. Coming to a festival that we have our expectations, but they're slightly different. Mm -hmm. How have y'all felt about the reactions three years ago? And then you've got like 85 films here. So mm -hmm. how have you felt about Dallas audiences? It's hard for him to walk into the hotel. Yeah. It's tough. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> with the jokes. Um, well, I think it's interesting that this is over the course of 11 days or 10 days. and. Um, it's kind of more confined to one space, and I think the people who are here are definitely here for the right reasons and are excited about seeing new stuff. And I think with a larger festival like South by, it's you're being drawn in so many different mm -hmm. directions, and you know maybe people are instead of really enjoying the film or being engrossed by something, they're thinking about, oh, I got to go to that concert Already. in 15 minutes, or yeah. there's another screening. So I like the focus here, and it seems like it's attracting a different crowd that. Is serious about finding new stuff. So, huh. I have a, a kind of a weird question. Um, I love Frank Darabont. Mm -hmm. You have kind of an interesting connection to him. You like animation. That's yeah. Uh, there's a PBS uh, show called On Story in Austin, and I did an animation of Frank Darabont uh, giving sort of a a talk on his his career. And I mean, I didn't meet him or anything, but I drew him for four weeks straight. Mm -hmm. and got is it to fun to draw? Like. It's fun. Uh, he sort of has a, a gnomish quality or a puckish quality that was really fun to capture <laughs> in two dimensions. <laughs> but yeah, he's a legend, so it was like cool to to do that. Thanks for looking at my IMDb. Yeah, really it's on nice there. Of you. And I saw it there, but I was like, I'll bother Jake yeah, with this. Why not? Yeah. Um, is there anyone that you want to work with, like that you haven't been able to yet? For sure. Yeah. yeah anyone. I mean, we've been really lucky with the, the movies we worked on have had Oscar winners and, and big names, and mm -hmm. and it's nice to see that they're down to earth, and I'm shocked that we've worked with Jason and these other mm -hmm. people, so I'm, I'm excited for what's the inevitable decline, probably, I guess. <laughs> and where, do you go, where do you go from there? I started my wish list. It's just actors right now, too. Could you three. share those three? Michael would... Sarah, Amy Sedaris, and Jeffrey Tambor. Those are on my list. But directors would be, I should yeah. make a director's, director's list. Good, yeah. Is it like yeah. a dark and rested development movie you're thinking in your head, sort of? Just fun. I just want to have fun and just laugh. Just have fun. And maybe, yeah, I think we both appreciate dry, darker mm -hmm. humor. We're very dark you guys like individuals. Dry humor? Dry humor. Shocking. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Happy to work with anyone. I say yes to most scripts. Uh, and I just love, love the process. I was really inspired by a film at South by Southwest, um, and this guy is now exploding onto the scene, an Austin filmmaker, Trey Edward Schultz. His oh, yeah. Pre -show. Did you hear yeah, about yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. And, um, I mean, it was fun to, to see new talent and be excited by someone that I'd never heard of, you know, that hasn't really done anything before. And I just want to be involved with really good projects. Jake mm -hmm. is a big proponent of that yeah and uh, always encourages we I think we encourage each other to yeah we get job advice often so yeah. 
I said, follow your heart. Like, just make choices for good reasons, not just money or, you yeah. know. You're involved with a project, particularly as a producer and as a production designer, for so long mm-hmm. that it feels really important to, to really, really so, like, be your, into it. Your time is valuable and that you're not throwing it away on something you don't believe in. Or, yeah. Cause it's long hours and hard days. So I would never want to work with a jerk. Again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I set, I set that one up for you. Yeah. Um, I'm never working with Shauna Flanagan again. <laughs> this guy was amazing. We're having a good time. You were, you were great, too. This is, this is like our rookie project, kind of. It was our Gaudi was great, or uh, me? You were. Oh, thank you. Sorry. I uh, thought I you were I'm... talking about the interview. Yeah. Just so. The interview is great. <laughs> it's like great it. for me, because I'm not doing much, yeah. so this is <laughs> awesome. But what I wanted to talk about, this is really our rookie, this is our big shot at the big leagues. It's the first feature as production designer, first as producer, where mm-hmm. we really had a lot of responsibility. And it was a fun baptism by fire. And the onus was on us. The too. onus was on us to really. Where are y'all going fail. with that? <laughs> onus was a buzzword from yesterday, so I wanted to. When you watch all our videos, <laughs> you'll see that there's a through line that's onus. And the emphasis is on the viewer, you, the viewer. Uh, Could we talk about dogs, too? We'd love to. Um, do you like about cute dogs? I, you were looking for uh, my sticker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm allergic Slick. to dogs, uh, but they are drawn to me, and I get that. He was a low shedder. He was so. a low shedder. The first time, I'm, Arrow is the star of the movie, really. That's Jason's dog, a real our, life dog. Our first AD was also allergic. If he licked her, she would like yeah. break out. Did you ever have that problem? I did get a rash on my yeah. arm. But, uh, <laughs> was it related to the dog? Or no? Well, I don't know. Asbestos or a dog. Um, but yeah, Arrow was just the most unusual, charming, weird dog I've ever known. And he would fall asleep just at the drop of a hat. And uh, we kind That's of incredible. blocked scenes around him because he's not a trained actor. Uh, and it was really hard, not hard, but we couldn't say, stand on your hind legs and do this, do that, because mm-hmm. that's just not. Bulldogs don't do that type of thing. No. And basically he would just sleep most of the time. So how, how similar was he to Bill Murray from your, when you were 14? Right. Was it similar? It was similar. I think that's why Jason adopted Arrow, because it <laughs> reminded him of Bill Murray. Mm. No, that's not even true, but. It's a family dog, I believe. It's a family His dog. Relatives own the parent mm. or something. But it, in the script, it was supposed to be a German Shepherd, like a much more aggressive, intimidating dog. And we were trying to cast it. Did we find one? We did find one. Mm. At uh, Contigo, yeah. So another trained actor. That's a restaurant, so. Yeah, it was an untrained. Okay. Yeah, another untrained dog. But then Bob met an Jason's one. dog. At, he went out to visit Jason in California and met the dog, and he was like, well, maybe we should shift the character to be more of a, a lazy, weird. How much dog. did that change the, the story, then? There's just really no. one scene that was dramatically changed, but I think it was improved. Um, That's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, I mean... Arrow's impact, I guess. Mm-hmm. He's on IMDb now. He's like, he's, I think he wants to it's continue off. acting. Yeah. We had an incredible Skype session with Jason and Arrow, uh, and Tunde was in Austin after our screening, last screening in South by, South by, and Jason could call out, like, he's going to fall asleep in five seconds, and he would do it. Countdown. Just, countdown. It was, yeah. Fall down. I don't know why I brought that up. Maybe. Let's talk about Diff. We're all in love with Arrow. It's true. Yeah. We all loved him. He's still here. <laughs> I'm sorry. The past <laughs> tense. Well, thank He's you still guys. Around. Thank you. <laughs> he is, and thank you guys so much for um, bringing the films here. You guys sure. have brought multiple films. You're really a part of of all elements of Diff. So thank you guys. Happy thank to be you. here. Yeah. Thanks for having us.